Hi, Jay Pierre at Websites for Beginners. In this video where we are focusing on the video pop-up from Kubely, we're going to look at how you set up this trigger with the add-on for WordPress Gutenberg to allow for a video to pop up when people interact with it. I have a site here and you can see kind of it tells you, hey, there's a video here, play it. This is not an inline video player meaning that if I click here, the video is not going to play within this area. What will happen is that when I click on it, a pop-up will appear and a video from YouTube or whichever destination you have set will play. That is the video pop-up. Let's see how you can do that. To bring in the block, you can do that by going up here to Add Block, Collapse, and go to Kubely. Over here, you will find the video pop-up. And if you don't find it, simply go ahead and type in the search box video, and you will see all the blocks related to video appear here. This is the one that we would like to bring in. Click on it, and let's have a look at what we've got here. Very similar to how it appeared on the front, we have this icon with the play button, and then we have this background for it. The great thing about Kubely add-ons is that if they have a pre-made block or a pre-made template for this specific block, it appears over here in this section. Now, within the WordPress Gutenberg editor, you usually have your document, which is your page. If I click outside here, you will see it goes to document. And when you click on the block, it selects block. All the settings pertaining to this block now are done over here. In this event, what we get here are related sections. These are pre-made templates that you can use, and they all include the video pop-up add-on. Scroll down to have a look at them, and for example, let's say you think this one looks pretty good. You simply click on import, it will bring in that section for you, everything styled and ready, you may need to make some color changes. And then over here, you will interact with the video pop-up again. Just remember to go and delete the one that you had brought in originally. Select it, and you see the same options appear over here. The ones that you are interested in are under styling. So click on style. There are two styles to choose from. One is fill that we currently see, and next to it is classic. When you select classic, you basically just get an icon that acts as a pop-up trigger. So when somebody selects this icon, it's going to pop up. You can put it on the left, on the right, and of course, you can center align it. Bringing in the video is done over here. You can select an external source like YouTube or Vimeo, or even self-hosted. Then icon settings down here, and it gives you these presets like the play, Video, YouTube, Vimeo, and Enlarge. Let's put it back on play. You have the normal functions here like radius, the size of the icon, color of the icon, background color, and even something called a ripple effect. That is that little skipping stone effect that you are seeing over there. That is the ripple effect. Very nice to draw attention to this section. Let's switch it off. The last thing that you get here under the styling is prefix and postfix. This allows you to bring in anything that you want to write in front of the icon or after the icon. Click here. And you can style this as well with spacing and independent topography styling down here. If you want to remove it, select it, delete it, and you are back just to the icon. To get back to the original version that we had seen at the beginning, then you select Fill. Again, Fill will not give you the video display here. So when you bring in the video from YouTube, it's not going to display the thumbnail from the video on YouTube or Vimeo. If you want to display that thumbnail, you will have to take a screenshot or save it as a JPEG or PNG and bring it in and use it as a background. The moment you select Fill, you're going to see down here at the bottom, Background appears now. Under Background, you're going to have control over the height. And you can select the background color or type. 
If you want a color, go to background type and reset it over here to remove the image. And now you can go to background color and select the color from your color selector. If you want a background instead, you can simply click here, it will override the color. You also have control for advanced background features such as where it is positioned and the sizing. Border, radius, and an overlay over here. You apply the overlay as well as a different opacity setting for the hover. Let's do that. For example, I've got the enabled overlay here. Let's put it on this purple. You'll see a slight change. And then we change the opacity, make it higher. But we leave the hover opacity lower. If somebody hovers over it, there's that hover animation. Update. Let's go preview it on the front end. The original we had started with, the block that we had brought it in, and then this pre-made template. Click on it, and it opens the box. Settings for this box is done with the pop-up itself. You don't have control over that. A great way of bringing videos to your site with this Kubely add-on for the Gutenberg WordPress editor. Make sure to subscribe and thank you for the support to this channel. Stay safe, go well, and see you in the next video. This is JP signing off.